Virginia Tech Relay for Life held the number one spot for best collegiate relay event for years, and now they're working to earn that title back from the University of Michigan. As of this morning, both teams are neck and neck at just over $300,000 that they've raised so far. WSLS 10 Zarin Brookshire joins us live from the drill field where all of the activities will take place Friday and Aaron thousands of people are expected. Yeah, that's right. By Friday afternoon, this entire area of the drill field will be filled with supporters, tents, activities all taking place for Friday night's Relay for Life. More than 5,000 people have already signed up and they're expecting even more to sign up in the next few days. Now, students have set a goal to raise more than $600,000 and with three days left until the event here on campus, it's a goal many believe they can reach to claim back that number one collegiate spot from the University of Michigan. But it's it's not just about the friendly competition for students here at Virginia Tech. Relay for Life is also about raising money in the fight against cancer. I think it's really important just because so many people's lives are affected by cancer and it's like a really good way to just bring everyone together for a night of just remembrance and supporting people that are still fighting. Like it's such a worthy cause because um, you know most everybody's affected by cancer in one way or another through friends or family so it feels really good to uh, give back in that sense. Now, the first Virginia Tech Relay for Life was 16 years ago, and since then, more than $5 million has been raised for cancer research. While Virginia Tech's Relay for Life is one of the largest in our region, it's one of many taking place over the next few months. In May, Relay for Life events will be taking place in Rockbridge County and the city of Salem. Then in June, Lynchburg and Roanoke will hold their Relay for Life events, followed by a Martinsville and Henry County Relay, and one in Franklin County at the end of the month. Now, we've posted details about all of these Relay for Life events and more on our website. Just head over to WSLS.com to find one near you. Live in Blacksburg, I'm Erin Brookshire, WSLS 10. And Erin, this event is always so fun and there are some really trademark things that happen during each Relay for Life. Yeah, there definitely are. There are always the laps that take place around the outside of the area where Relay is taking. Here at Virginia Tech, there's a survivor lap. There are some special themed laps that students and community members will be taking place on, on Friday night. So it's definitely going to be a lot of fun and a very special moment for people here in Blacksburg as well. And the luminaries, that's always yeah. so touching, remembering yes. people who have passed away from cancer. So if you can't go out to a Relay for Life event, just hop online and donate to one. Absolutely. Aaron Brooks, our live force in Blacksburg this morning. Aaron, thanks so much.